Jenny Just is one of just 23 self-made women billionaires in the United States. And she's not very well known because she doesn't have a consumer facing brand. She got her start in the options world on the, the floor of the Chicago Options Exchange. There were so few women working there at the time that there wasn't even a women's bathroom. And she learned on the job how to trade options and rose through the ranks at her company. It was a company called O'Connor. She and another guy there started uh, their own firm doing, doing options trading. And then she's just expanded since then to a whole range of uh, different kinds of companies. But the most significant of her of her companies is this back end kind of fintech for fintechs, um, Apex Clearing. Okay, but basically when you buy, and if you're buying and selling stock or moving money from one account to another, Apex Clearing does this for a whole bunch of different kind of more well-known uh, fintech companies. The reason she came to Forbes' attention was she cut this deal earlier this year to merge her Apex Clearing, which is a private company, with an existing publicly traded, what, what are called a blank check company. Essentially, it's a public company with no assets that's in search of a private company to buy. The public shell is gonna buy her private company. It's supposed to happen at a valuation of $4.7 billion. The deal hasn't closed yet. We're waiting for the SEC to sign, things, sign off on things. But even if it doesn't go public at 4.7 billion, even if it goes at half the value of that, Forbes still calculates that she'd be a billionaire. But we figured that she's worth about $1.5 billion today based on her stake in the company. She's got some other investments as well. You know, she's really a pioneer in finance and options trading. And she's also trying to pave the road for more women to follow in her path. She's created internships inside her company so women can learn how to trade and so women can learn programming. And then kind of a fun thing is she is a fan of women learning how to play poker. And she thinks it's a skill that's good to learn because it teaches you how to strategize, how to take risks. What she told Forbes is that she thinks that women should be taking more of a role in making financial decisions. And she feels like poker can help with that. She was a single mom when she you know, first started this company. And then she ended up marrying her business partner um, in like 2003. And she's really all about trying to empower women to make financial decisions.